A web-based cyber attack is a malicious activity that targets websites, web applications, or web servers to exploit vulnerabilities, disrupt services, or steal data. These attacks often take advantage of things like weak coding practices, unpatched systems, or poor security configurations. This is something that has largely stayed the same between the years with a couple of interesting rubs here. Um, the biggest thing that people think about with web-based attacks are remote code execution vulnerabilities, RCEs. Uh, these are uh, vulnerabilities that will uh, that will occur in PHP frameworks, ASP.NET, any web application framework that dynamically executes code will probably at some point run into a remote code execution vulnerability. Adversaries love these because that gives them a way to execute code on a web server without an admin or without a defender actually realizing it's happening sometimes. So that's something that we write detection analytics for so that we can go chase those down and run those to ground. Adversaries will look for RCE vulnerabilities in applications like Confluence, Microsoft Exchange, uh, SharePoint, all sorts of different applications that have been in the enterprise for ages, and they'll use those as initial access to move further into an enterprise. A second web-based vulnerability here that doesn't always get as much uh, press, but I still think is really important, is something called SQL injection vulnerabilities. Believe it or not, it's possible to get code execution on database servers through web applications that are improperly secured. When you're using SQL injection inside web applications, you can usually uh, execute arbitrary SQL statements. These are going to be statements that are going into your database. If you have a database such as Microsoft SQL Server, uh, things like those, there are ways that you can do arbitrary code execution like XP command shell, some of those. Um, the kind of rule of thumb that I usually use, if you can execute code on a database, that is going to be uh, pretty similar to an RCE. This is the sort of situation where you want to make sure that your database servers are extremely locked down the same way that you want your application servers to be locked down. Uh, your code execution in those cases may not just happen on a web server, but it may happen on a database server that is fueling your application. So it's, it's kind of double the exposure for the price of one.